He's hitting and kicking a burglary suspect. For more than nine months now, we have been following the story of Chad Holly, the teenager who said he was beaten by police during his arrest. Four officers have been charged with crimes for the incident, and tonight, for the first time, we are getting to see the video. 13 Undercover's Wayne Dolcefino is here with that video. Wayne? Yeah, Gina and Dave, tonight every single patrol cop in this city has been told the video is out there. The mayor wouldn't let you see it, nor the district attorney or the police chief. We've all been told it's too graphic, disturbing for the public. And we remind you that it is, as we show you the video that so many Houstonians have wanted to see. It was an afternoon in March. A security camera captures the end of a Houston police pursuit. Burglar Chad Holly was trying to make a run for it. He's clipped by a police car. On the ground, he clearly puts his arms out in the surrender pose, then folds his arms behind his head before police move in. But look what happens next. The first officer stomps on his head. He's repeatedly kicked. We count four officers doing the kicking. Then one officer lands five separate kicks. It looks like the kicks are landing on Holly's head. You'll see more kicks. Holly has been on the ground, cops on top of him, all around him, for about 20 seconds. And then another police officer lands five heavy punches. The officer who did the kicking in the beginning does it again, this time from behind. Then he stomps on the back of Holly's legs. Then just before Holly is picked up to be taken to a patrol car, there's another lick. The first showing of the uh, video will be in a courtroom, sir. But now we're making the video public, months after the DA, the police chief, and the mayor refuse to let you see it. I got to tape legally, so sit back and watch your television tonight like everybody else in this city, because we're all going to see what's going on. Community activist Quan LX had been sued by one of the cops in the Holly case. A judge gave him the right to get the tape, and he gave it to us. Just minutes after we made our copy, the federal judge, who had blocked release of this video, was on the phone trying to stop its release. It was too late. Absolutely, it's a powerful tape, and it's a shameful tape because you see police officers out there at the scene behaving themselves like criminals, not law enforcement officers who respect and honor their duty to the badge. And I'm telling you, when the people in the hood see it, they're going to be angry also, and now it's time that it come out. Four Houston police officers were indicted for what you've just seen on video, but on misdemeanor charges of official oppression, not assault. I want to know how in the hell did they do what they did to that boy on that videotape and they only got charged with official oppression. Twelve officers were punished in the wake of the Holly case. Many of them have been given their jobs back against the city's will. And you can see the whole video again on our website at abc13.com. And the four officers who were indicted have all pled not guilty. Wayne Dolcefino, 13, undercover. Houston police officials are not saying much about the release of this video. Police Chief Charles McClellan gave us this statement, and we quote, I have already taken disciplinary action and will have no further comment until the last case is adjudicated and or appealed. Late this evening, Mayor Anise Parker released this statement, quote, I was shocked and disgusted when I first viewed this tape. My feelings haven't changed. This is not acceptable in Houston. The city of Houston has fully supported the district attorney's desire to keep this video from being released prior to trial because we did not want to do anything that could jeopardize the prosecution of the police officers involved. We vigorously sought termination of the officers and continue to fight to keep them from ever again working at the Houston Police Department. Whoever provided the video to Channel 13 is in violation of a federal court order and should be prosecuted. It is unfortunate and irresponsible that Channel 13 has chosen to air the material at this time.